Hey guys, this is Arsenal Giants PS3 and this is episode 7 of season 1 of our FIFA 13 career mode series with Swansea City and we are now in the latter stages of October and I have three matches for you in this episode. First off we have a Capital One Cup against Leicester City which we should be able to win and progress to the next round. Then we have an away match against Manchester City, that's going to be a very very difficult match, I'll be surprised if we get anything from that. And then last we have an away match against Southampton, also going to be a tough match but some substantially easier than against Manchester City. So anyway, looking at the Barclays Premier League table after that win against Wigan, we are up to 11th in the table with 12 points. So that is pretty good. Hopefully we can push on to the top half of the table. And as voted by you guys for last episode's goal of the episode, and it was the Christian Teo goal against Reading. And also you guys voted him player of the episode. So thank you very much guys for leaving those comments. It is greatly appreciated. But anyway, on to our first match of the episode against Leicester City in the Capital One Cup. And as it is this competition, we are going to be playing a substantially weaker squad than we usually do. But hopefully they can get the job done and we can progress to the next round. But Leicester City causes a few problems in the opening stages here. Had a cross there, but Michel Vaughan managed to catch it. Then they had another chance here. Nugent plays through Jermaine Beckford, but another good stop there from Michel Vaughan. Manages to keep him out and now we can go on the counter attack. Nathan Dyer here on the ball has support in the centre in John Goodyetti. Lofts the ball in and Goodyetti's header just goes wide of the post. He was injured in the process but luckily it was only a small injury and he can carry on so we have another chance here Nathan Dyer on the flank lays it off to Goodyetti and yet again he had a shot and this time Schmeichel does manage to get the save and it wasn't exactly a convincing save but he does manage to grab the ball and keep hold of it so then there was another chance to Leicester but they couldn't really capitalise and yet again we can go on the counter attack as you guys know I love going on the counter attack but now John Goodyetti threw on goal from that Joel Campbell through ball and look at this finish what an emphatic finish there by John Goodyetti it definitely reminds me of the Eduardo goal against Sunderland. Just smashed it in from that sort of range. Here's an X replay here. It actually has a little bit of curl on it as well. Right around Schmeichel and in the back of the net. Great finish there by Goodyetti. And that really shows the kind of potential he has. And hopefully he can replicate that here at this club. And they had another chance though, Jermaine Beckford. And straight from the off, he does manage to get that equaliser. And that's really unfortunate. I was really hoping after that Goodyetti goal, we can carry on and get another couple of goals. and can be very comfortable. But after the equaliser, I definitely wasn't feeling comfortable whatsoever but Paul Pogba there almost scored an absolute screamer of a goal but unfortunately just went wide of the post and at half time it was 1-0 but we had a few more opportunities in the second half Joel Campbell just ploughing his way through the players there has the chance and then just look at that finish right into the top right corner just smashed it past Schmeichel with the laces and that is a great finish by Joel Campbell he's not been brilliant this season but when he has had the chance he really has put them in the back of the net and now Nathan Dyer has an opportunity turns to the defender brilliantly but then just can't quite get his effort on target and now we can have a few more opportunities try and get that third goal and make it very comfortable for us John Goodyetti has the chance and his shot also very very close there but unfortunately not on target and after that it just seemed that Leicester really couldn't muster any sort of attack and we just kept onto the ball and John Goodyetti here plays through Song Yong Ki and his shot hits the post and goes in the back of the net great finish there by Song Yong Ki also a good pass by John Goodyetti but that shot was straight and true and that was a great finish by him and hopefully now that's the end but Jermaine Beckford had a chance of his own and that was a horrible miss there by Beckford really terrible stuff he has another chance though but his shot is well saved by Michel Vorm and then the cross in kept out by our defence and that was it guys at full time Swansea 3 Leicester City 1 and we are through to the next round of the Carling Cup lots to look forward to there but on to our second match of the episode here against Manchester City and this match I can't see us getting anything from from at all it's just such a hard match at the Etihad and honest to God if we get even a point here I will be genuinely shocked and surprised but that didn't really look like happening straight away Jack Robwell puts the ball in the back of the net great finish by him defensively awful but to be honest we really couldn't do that much about it and Man City take the lead they had a few more chances then the shot just wide of the post yet again from Rodwell and then they kept at the pressure here great tackle there but Pogba he can't get onto the ball and then we do give away the free kick here as you see, Mario Balotelli, he goes just a little bit under the challenge. Then Tevez takes the ball, hits the post, and then eventually we do manage to clear it out. So close there to going 2-0. And honestly, guys, I hadn't even had a single chance yet. It was just complete 
domination from Man City and Kolarov there even had another opportunity. It was just chance after chance for Man City until the 40th minute when we finally had something of a chance. Paul Pogba there with the shot but a good stop by Pantidamon. I think I pronounced that correctly and that was pretty much our only chance of the first half and then Man City just before half time they get so lucky here. Defensive calamity. Chico gives it straight to Tevez. In fact I think actually Carl Bartley. I'm not really too sure but in that sort of space in that sort of area Tevez is going to punish you and at half time it's already 2-0 to Man City and honestly I couldn't see us getting anything from this match at this point whatsoever it was just such a hard match to play Pablo Hernandez almost manages to lash onto that pass but luckily enough for Man City Pantamillion manages to get his hand to it but to be honest in the second half we saw a lot more of the ball and it was slightly easier to be honest John Goodetti there with a the shot just went wide of the post and that was a great chance for him to get on the score sheet and hopefully put us back in the match here and then look at this pass into the path of Goodetti he lays it off to Pablo Hernandez and finally we have a goal but it was completely against the run of play although we start the second half a little bit better it was just so so surprising we've managed to pick up a goal here and yet again the chance came to Pablo Hernandez and he really should be scoring that one would have been a fantastic goal had he managed to make contact with it properly and unfortunately for us the chance went a begging and that was it and then just before the end of the match David Silva has the shot just went wide there and it was that was it guys at full time 2-1 to Man City very very close in the end but sadly we couldn't get anything from that match and it is disappointing but on to our third and final match of the episode here against Southampton and hopefully we can pick up something here. I'm not really expecting three points but at least a point would be pretty good against some pretty decent opposition. Would be good but anyway we get off to a good start though. Danny Graham on the ball starting ahead of Good Yeti seeing as Good Yeti's stamina was looking a little bit poor. Has the chance for Joel Campbell but it's a terrible effort from him. Really should be getting that at least on target and that was a good chance for us to go ahead early on. Then Song Yong Ki tries to dummy it through his legs but it goes right through him and sadly couldn't get a shot away and after that to be honest there weren't really too many chances Ricky Lambert his header goes over the bar high and not nearly on target and there wasn't really much else happening really in the 30th minute he had a chance though Christian Teo not really much support so he tries to just blast it himself and it goes over the bar and that was really it for the first half nothing at all happening still nil nil but in the second half got a lot more exciting Christian Teo on the flank hasn't got any support in the centre has to do it alone tries to curl it past the keeper with the finesse but a good stop by him and that was the attack. But from the throw now, Teo yet again trying for that shot on the turn and has a lot of power but comes off the post and just goes out of play. And now we have another chance in the second half, a lot more exciting. Danny Graham on the ball, has the shot, comes out though to Pablo Hernandez on the rebound and he heads it in the back of the net. And after that, pretty lucky goal someone got against me last episode or two episodes ago. I'm pretty happy to get one for myself and that gives us the lead. But then Punchion equalises almost instantly. No, he does not. He was just off side I think he was actually on side there but perhaps he was just off and that was very very lucky for us that was almost an instant equaliser and that would have been really really awful had they got that goal because they would have had the momentum so we make a few substitutions just to give us a little bit more stability and hopefully get that second goal but Southampton kept up the attack here and look at this clearance here from Mariano great stuff from him and now we're on the counter attack and this is where we are so strong and Kieran Dyer sorry not Kieran Dyer Nathan Dyer on the ball here so much speed and then a really clinical finish there in the back of the net great finish there actually just has a lot of time and composes himself and slots it past the keeper and we actually almost got a third goal here look at this close control by Nathan Dyer has the ball lays it off to Danny Graham and he just loses the ball a bit there and then lays it off to Pablo Hernandez great football here then Pablo Hernandez lays it off yet again to Danny Graham and his shot only just goes inches wide of the post and that was it guys a full time 2-0 to us and at last in the Premier League we have a clean sheet it's been such a long time and look at that table that is some good reading there up to seventh place with 15 points very very good stuff but we, but we are only just about three points off about 15 so we have to take it that into consideration but it is really good position so far so now it's time for a goal of the episode and pretty much guys I know it's going to be the John Good Yeti goal against Leicester but please leave a comment on which one you think should be goal of the episode and then we have the Joel Campbell goal also against Leicester but I'm putting all my money on it being that John Good Yeti goal is just such 
such a good goal from long range and just curled around Schmeichel. So anyway, now it's time for player of the episode and I'm pretty sure there are a lot of candidates here but I'm going to give it to Michel Vorm because he's just such an awesome player and every time he just proves me right by playing him in every single match, he is just such an awesome goalkeeper. So anyway guys, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, if you could leave a thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated and thank you very much for watching.